In this session, let us understand the range function and the for loop. Range is a built-in function in Python that is used to create a list containing a sequence of numbers. The syntax for range function is range start, comma stop, comma step. The start and the step arguments are optional. Always remember that the step value has to be plus 1. Let us understand this better with the help of some examples. In the Jupyter notebook, the range function can be called with list. So I am typing list range of 5. Now when I am running this program, I can see that the value it takes starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it always starts with 0 and then takes the value which is 1 less than this. Now suppose if I want to give the starting value and the ending value, let us see how this works. Going to type list range from 1 to 11. When I run this, I can see it takes the first value which is specified in the range that is the start and the last value is 10 which is 1 less than the end value. Okay. I can also use range function by stepping up to a number that I specified. Now if I give list range of 0, comma, 11 which is the ending number and step by 2. Now this has to print all the even numbers between 0 and 11. See this is how it displays and always remember that the stop value or the end value has to be 1 greater than the number that you want. Now having understood the range function, let us understand the for loop. The for statement is used to repeat a set of statements over a range of values or sequence. Once all the items in the range are executed, the body of the loop will not get executed. The control goes to the statement outside the for loop. The syntax of for loop is for value in sequence and the body of for. Remember the sequence that is specified here can be a list, a string or it could be a range function. Now let us understand this better with the help of few examples. Let me first take a string and see what happens. I am going to give for x in intelligence colon I am going to print it has to be lowercase print x let us run this program you find each character getting printed so every time the for loop executes it is taking the first character printing it comes back now it takes the second character until it reaches the last character and keeps them printing one after the other and once it is done it exits the loop now let us try to use a list and see what happens i'm going to define a list name fruits and i'm going to type in some names of fruits Say, suppose, mango, apple, pear, kiwi, orange. Okay. So, I am taking names of five fruits here in the list and storing it in fruits. Now, I am going to give for fruit in fruits, colon, print, 
let us run this program as you can see it is taking one fruit at a time and printing it so in the first execution it take the it takes the list of fruits it will print the first fruit which is apple then comes back to the for loop it prints the next value which is mango then again pear then kiwi then orange and thereafter it is the end of the list so it comes out of the for loop now let us try to use the range function so i am going to type for is it in range 1 comma 11 print z so here you can find the program printing the numbers from 1 to 10 as i already told you the upper limit of the range function has to be one number higher got it now let us try to do a program which will print the multiplication table i am going to take a variable called number and make it an integer so I am going to request the user to enter a number now the multiplication table program is very simple I am going to take a value i in range say 1 comma 11 so this will print multiplication table from 1 to 10 for the number. I am going to print the number. We need the multiplication sign. So let us take capital X for that. And then we need I to be printed. And then we need the equal to sign. Then we need the product of these two. Which is nothing but number multiplied by I. And that's it. Let us run this program. Let the number be 5. Here you go. You find the multiplication table for the number 5 from 1 to 10. Easy, isn't it? So this is how a for loop is used in Python. I hope you have understood the range function and for loop today. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.